Welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. My name is Ryan Daly, and today we are going to be reviewing Huebner vs. Hitler by Richard Lloyd Dewey. This is a big boo. I give it two stars. First, let me explain why it is so awesome, and then let me explain to you why it is not awesome. First, the story is phenomenal. It is about a Mormon teenager in Nazi Germany, a former uh, Nazi, for all intents and purposes, a Nazi youth, who one of the Hitler youth, who eventually identifies, uh, listens to, to some taboo radio uh, that gives them the real story of the BBC, and becomes the youngest person executed eventually uh, for treason from the Nazi party. He is a member of the church. Uh, it is a phenomenal story. I absolutely love his passion and am moved by it. Here's the problem. The problem is the book. The story is phenomenal and it's moving. The book is so poorly written. It is not interesting. In fact, it's boring. The only reason why I actually appreciated parts of the book was because I already knew the story. In fact, I would recommend that if you're interested in the story, and I do recommend that everyone be interested in the story, is to go find the documentary done by KBYU on the topic. It is moving. It is insightful. You will fall in love with this boy. And to realize the strength that he had to do what he needed to do was phenomenal. But the book is long. It's poorly written, poorly compiled, poorly narrated. It's just not interesting. I, If I hadn't have already known the story really well, uh, I probably wouldn't have finished the book, which is hard for me because I finish books. Unfortunately, it's even made me not interested in reading his previous works, uh, the one he's most notorious for being about Porter Rockwell. I will read it because it's kind of considered a classic by some, but that's how much I didn't like the book itself. So again, Huebner versus Hitler. Awesome story. You need to know about it. Go on Google. Go on YouTube. YouTube him. There's tons of videos about this awesome German youth and the things that he did and the lives that he changed uh, and those around him. Um, just get the information from a different source. Don't take time to read this book. There are other books on him as well. So two stars for Richard Lloyd Dewey. I'm sorry, buddy, but... <laughs> Great story, but you, you probably really have either should have gotten a different editor or taken some extra time on it. Um, with that, two stars. Thank you very much. If you're interested in a more, uh, I guess, full write-up on this book, please visit ldsreviews.com and follow there.